In this video, we will demonstrate real-time collaboration on the web. To do this, we're using the distributed shared memory service on Ericsson Labs, together with the WebKit web browser that has been modified by us at Ericsson Research. This browser allows the user to expose devices such as web cameras and microphones to the web app. We've also added APIs to share media streams from your camera and microphone with other people on the web. To demonstrate this new functionality, we're going to show you a collaborative web app we have developed. We'll start by logging in. This is a collaborative workspace developed using the distributed shared memory service. It hosts several types of shared widgets. For example, a participant widget listing all the meeting participants and a chat widget. Let's say hello to Johan and Niklas. The slide sharing widget allows you to share PowerPoint presentations in the meeting. These buttons change the active slide for all participants. These video widgets show the participants who are sharing video. Right now we can see Niklas and Johan. In order to start my video stream, I need to use a device element to select input devices. The required interaction with the device dialog prevents the web app from accessing, for example, the camera without the user's knowledge. Let's select the default camera and microphone. Being able to expose input devices like this is currently not possible in a regular unmodified browser. To sum up, this is a real-time collaborative web app developed without any plugins. These videos are rendered with HTML5 video elements, which have several advantages over plugins. For example, it allows us to scale and rotate the videos with CSS. The distributed shared memory service is used to manage the collaborative workspace, for example, synchronizing the chat and the slide sharing, as well as configuring the video elements on the shared workspace. Thank you for watching.